Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 46, it has started. It has begun. And this is the first war of the season. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called the Ultimate Avengers. <laughs> Avengers, okay. Um, yep, there we go. Let's uh, see who they blocked so hercules infamous iron man and what do you know warlock who i was just seeing would you be used and silk is globally banned yay okay anyway let's uh check out what they got in store all right all right so hulk but he's not awakened so that shouldn't be a big deal there. He doesn't benefit from the node. And since he's unawakened, shouldn't have to worry about that. Then we have Omega Sentinel. Now, I could use Hulkling, but Gallon is probably uh, safer for that one. So we'll, we'll see. And then we've got uh, future Ant-Man. I'm going to bring uh, Magneto there. And we also have uh, Viv Vision. Magneto can also do that one. I'm not going to bring Corvus, who could do that fight. Uh, probably I will bring uh, Hulkling. So, so far, Hulkling, Magneto, and Gallon. And we'll see if I can bring somebody else for that Omega Sentinel. But Gallon is safer to me. All right, let's see the minis. Yeah, see, that Sauron would have gotten taken out by my Warlock if I brought him. And let's see, Quicksilver... Nope. Hulkling. Hulkling could have done that fight except for the global. But we'll see. I suspect that this war is not going to go all that great. Um, first war of the season. And we've got this new global, which sucks. I mean, it, that's all I can say about it. All right. Anyway. Let's see. I don't see. Um, incinerate and shock. No. Incinerate poison. No. Shock and bleed. No. I don't have anybody that really. Let's see what we got down here. Um, placebo. Uh, I don't know. This is the global, by the way. And it just, I don't even want to talk about it. Hate it. All right. Uh, ebb and flow, knock down. Uh huh. And then Miss Glancer. Um, I wonder if Hulklings, but no, got the power snack. All right, let's see. Is there anybody up here I can take? Hmm. If I was bringing Claire, I might take someone. But yeah, I don't, I don't see anybody that I can really take. Let me see. Gallon, Magneto. And Hulkling. If I didn't bring Gallon, Hulkling might be able to do that fight, and then I can bring someone else to take these guys. So, but I don't really like 
the idea of using Hulkling, um, I don't think it's as safe. But if they need someone um, to bring in a counter and I have that counter, then I might do that. I might bring Hulkling and just go for that one. Because he can definitely do it. It's just not, not fun. All right. So Hulkling, Magneto, for sure, I'm thinking, and Gallon as a possibility. And who knows, Gallon might be able to do one of these fights as well. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Gallon, Hulkling, and Magneto. All right, now, this is the first War of the Season. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we dropped down to Tier 3. And we need to win this in order to get back to Tier 2. Now, this first fight, I wasn't too worried about it. Reason being, Hulk is not awakened. If Hulk had been awakened, I would have been way more nervous. Because for some reason, I seem to always get caught by his, he goes unstoppable, he'll hit me with a special, and the fight's over. All I could do is sit there and look. Now, you see how much, uh, how many uh, boosts I have here, right? Look at look how many I have in the stash, even. That's from the grind for Onslaught when I opened up all of those crystals. All right, so Hulk is not that difficult to fight, but you really don't want to get hit by his special because the stun lasts forever. The higher um, his uh, furies go, the longer his stun. And when he hits 15, it's a bad day. Now, if he's awakened and he hits that, he'll go unstoppable. It's just not good, okay? But since he's not like right there, if he had been awakened, he would have gone unstoppable in the middle of that and probably hit me with that special one before I could even recover after my own special. That's probably what would have happened. So glad he was not awakened. All right. Now, next one, you already know, we're going to be using Gallon. And the only thing that is annoying about uh, Omega Sentinel is that if you use the same attack, she's going to start building up those armor ups. And she gets, what is it, five? She's going to auto block. You could you could try to hit her. You could try to um, hit her with a heavy. Nothing. Okay. So you want to keep her armor ups down. And also, <clears throat> one thing to help it, not repeating, but know that if you even parry, she has a chance to get an armor up. But baiting out her specials will use her armor ups. Okay. So with Gallon, though, especially on that node, he ramps up so fast that it really doesn't matter. I sometimes, you know, bait out a special one just to be safe. All right. Now, first fight in Section 2, Future Ant-Man. That's a Magneto fight all day, every day. Now, if you want to put points into the pacify mastery it will help it's not absolutely needed but it will help you okay so you see here i waited for him to be magnetized waited for his armor up to go down and now it's on now if i had pacify there would be pretty much no chance for him to be you know generating any more armor ups or anything like that but because i don't I have to rely on my magnetize, which is a bit of an RNG, okay? So that's why Pacify uh, is definitely useful and, you know, safer, definitely safer. But you may find a fight where, yeah, I held it, I held my heavy too long there, so he was able to dex. Um, 
but you may find a time where I do this and they get an armor up. You know, I don't think it happened this um, fight here. Yeah, I just went ahead and went in. Um, didn't happen in this fight, but it can. It can happen. Now, my Magneto is Sig 200, which reduces the damage um, that I take and it increases the damage that I do on my heavy attacks. So definitely worth uh, maxing out his SIG, in my opinion, if you're going to use him a lot. All right, so that was that. Used up my energy, came back, and now we have Viv Vision. Now, Viv Vision is going to have a lot of armor ups. And I could bring Corvus in for her, but on that note especially, it's just annoying. I've done it and I've won, but then every once in a while something will happen and uh, it'll take a little bit longer and I might uh, use up my uh, charges and then I'm really in a bad way. So I usually end up having to play the long game with Corvus. You know, medium light, medium light, medium light, that kind of. Um, fight it's just not fun all right but with him i waited till i got magnetized and now boom all right here we go bam just look at that now i'm not getting the um shocks on me yet but remember what i said before with pacify if you want to really suppress you'll be good now something else that you notice i'm doing here um besides getting hit uh, I was trying to um, hold my block to make her hold her special. I'm so happy she fired that special off because I was in the corner and I'm just like, come on. But I was holding it because I didn't want her to fire her special one. So I basically am hitting her and then holding my block. Now it doesn't really matter because I'm going, you know, all the way to my special three. Boom. She's already almost gone. And so this should take her out really quick. I probably didn't even need to, look at that, just the first crunch. Um, I probably didn't need to wait that long even uh, to build up to the special three, but I played it a little bit safer and it worked out. All right, now, that is it for my paths. Now we've got to deal with a mini. And I was assigned this mini. And uh, you'll see here, I tried to take a little bit of a breather um, before. And these still kind of confuse me a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be taking on the annoying, the also oh annoying Storm Pyramid X. Y'all know why she's annoying, right? All that glancing and everything. All right. Now, I've not fought her on this node before. But I was told uh, the basic strategy to use against her, all right? And you'll see it. But that's the buffs that are active on this node. And we're gonna be using Gallon. So you already know how we're gonna play this. Basically, um, we are going to bait out her special one, don't want to deal with her special two. Bait out the special one and just build up to my special. You know, build up enough of the uh, planetary mass or whatever and take her out. That's the basic strategy. Let's see how it works. So, here we go. I'm doing medium light medium. A lot of glancing. Very annoying. All right. Medium light medium. Got to watch out also for the uh, power sting. Every time you get a bar of power, either one of us, uh, you have a power sting. So you don't want to fire your power, your uh, special while you have it. And for some reason, I just start getting hit. I don't know why. I really don't. Um, I'm, I'm sitting there blocking. Maybe I, I let up off the block a little bit. I, I don't know. All right. But anyway, you can see here. I'm just baiting out, building up my uh, planetary mass, okay? 
building it up. Now, guess what? There we go. Bait that out. Guess what um, special she can't glance? Special three. So we hit her with a special three. Now, at this point in time, if I can build up to a special one, great. But the harvest is going to complete. All I got to do is stay alive at this point. All right. So we don't want to push her. You know, just like, yep, yeah, we're good. Just bait that out. Okay. And just start hitting her a little bit. No problem. Upper left hand corner. As soon as that runs down, you'll see. And she's done. Just like that. So beautiful fight. Gallon worked it pretty well. A nice uh, start to the season. Uh, I was able to get through my path and the mini that I was assigned without a death. So very happy about that. And you can see here, um, I'm going up to um, Boss Island. And I usually stay right here just in case I'm needed. All right, so we'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. The first war of the season is a win. Beautiful. This should get us back to tier two. All right, so you can see here, final scores. All right, shout out to our MVPs. Uh, this meta really sucks. Let me tell you that right now. It's horrible. Uh, if you look at the deaths we usually have, we're around the same. We've been practicing and all that good stuff, but we've been seeing an increase because this meta is really annoying and the attacker tactic doesn't really help. All right, so anyway, that is gonna do it, guys. Take care, hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.